In working in, in, with nutrients, there's been quite a change over the last probably 30 years, and it is getting to be quite a long time ago, where almost all micronutrients were sulfated micros. You had iron sulfate, cal uh, copper sulfate, uh, magnesium sulfate, zinc sulfate. Um, over the years, they've gradually been changing more into chelates, and chelates uh, are you use an element that actually grasps onto the micronutrient and holds it and makes it more available to the plant. The chelate essentially means claw and so it's got a structure where the um, element you're trying to chelate or trying to hold there usually a micronutrient. First one to start was uh, probably really iron where that was used greatly. It would latch on to the to the iron and it keeps it more available to the plant. Where the um, uh, sulfated ones would change more by pH, what was available and what was not available uh, would wa wash out more so, where the chelated ones tend to hang around a lot longer. So uh, you will know, we'll find these days that almost all your micronutrients now are being, that are being used are pretty much chelates. They are num there are a number of different types of chelates, some that allow the the micronutrient to be available at a higher pH or a lower pH, uh, which is also one of the changes that have come along uh, over this period of time. Back when there were mostly sulfates, most of the, the pHs that people look to grow at were much closer to a pH of 7. Um, so you might look at your pH to be growing at would be a 6.6 six to a, a 7.3 or 7.4. And as we've gradually gone more and more into chelates, we find that uh, the chelates are much more available when you're getting down to six or slightly below six. So we, we tend to then now put our growing ranges for pHs, uh, you know, maybe five five or to six five or six four in that kind of a range. And if you're a little bit up or below that thing, I don't think you're going to find a, a real problem with it. Um, it. It's something to keep track of because as you're watching it it will tend to wander in a certain direction and the closer that you know where you want it to change then the quicker you start your change. Most people that are producing nutrients wouldn't be doing their own chelation. They would be they just that's a total industry on its own. <laughs> they were uh, manufacturing the they were manufacturing the base elements. Yeah. So, so they're sourcing oh, yes. the, the raw materials Material. to then mix. So they're yes. doing the final mix. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, it, this is what's so crazy about, about nutrients is it's just, they're, they're just, there's, there's, you're paying for so much water. <laughs> I mean, it, it's not all that difficult to, to manufacture your own, your own nutrients.